That means I was there for three separate church services. That means I was on the prayer line three separate times. That means that I was ministered by Prophet Joshua more than one time, for sure. I'm telling you, when I say that, he he's the most influential figure in my life. That is the truth from my heart. Hello, my name is Eddie Perez, and in this video, I want to give a special thank you to in honor of Prophet TV Joshua, everything he's done, his ministry, and of course, he has gone to be with the Lord now, and uh, today marks his 58th birthday. So I want to take time because I feel like I have, you know, an obligation, so to speak, uh, to, to give a quick testimony and share my experience. I had the honor of uh, spending time at the Synagogue Church of All Nations um, in 2015. It was around March, around April. The Spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing. Human effort accomplish nothing. And the very word I have spoke to you as spirit and life. Hallelujah. I actually went there for a week, but uh, one week turned into three weeks. Uh, it turned into being able to meet uh, the man of God, Prophet T. Joshua. Um, it turned into being invited to... Uh, to stay for the three weeks and, and then also to join uh, him and his team over to the crusade in Mexico. That was also in 2015. It was a, like, a, like a month or two later. And Prophet Tibi, Tibi Joshua has been to me the most influential figure of my life. Um, you know, I, I came from a place where I suffer from severe anxiety, depression, suicidal i mean i couldn't hold down jobs it's like my life was defined by nothing but failure i i, I i've got fired or as some people call it getting sacked from a job i've gotten fired from like five jobs one after the other i wouldn't last not even a year in each one before i got fired i had anger problems temper problems i mean all over the place it was just like like a roller coaster you know um sometimes i would go out but it's mainly going it was like that was the story of my life and i had like nothing to write home about you know nothing to show for for my life you know and but the interesting thing is i was the kind of person who would i would go to church right i would go to church i would serve in the church pray fast you know i, I would i would read uh, the, the bible but you know I, and, and then you i would read you know that jesus is the prince of peace you're right, but but then I'm like, but I'm experiencing this peace, you know, and and it's like my life is a mess, and and I knew there was a disconnect there, so I ended up finding Prophet Joshua and his ministry, as many of you guys have, and it's by the videos on YouTube from Emmanuel TV. So I started watching those deliverance videos and and his messages and things like that, and then I realized, wait a second. Uh, like I came to a realization that, you know what, I need what those people are getting. I need the deliverance those people are getting. And interestingly enough, before that, that I, it never heard, had occurred to me that I needed deliverance, right? And I came to that conclusion because I, I saw people getting delivered and afterward they would give their testimony and they would say, you know, I had these nightmares, you know, uh, being chased in the dreams, you know, have, you know, having sexual encounters with strangers and the dreams and things of that nature and i'm like but i'm experiencing that too you know uh and because of their experiences sharing their experiences i, I realized wait wait a second i'm experiencing that too and interestingly enough you know i'm from new york and here in the u.s you you don't really see kind of, i guess uh, the power of god as 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 i saw in, in the in the ministry of prophet joshua the deliverances the miracles the healings and so on and so forth. So, you know, I was in a, in a, in a, state, in a state of desperation. Uh, like I said, anxiety, depression. I had no job. You know, uh, my wife was a student. Uh, she, she had, I, I think she had a part-time job, but she was a student going to, she wanted to go to nursing school. But mind you, we didn't have the money. We were barely making ends meet, you know? So uh, I ended up, you know, uh, scone.org, going to the website, uh, you know, requesting to be able to visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations, and thank God that I was able to go. Um, 
So again, I stood there for three weeks and I, that means I was there for three separate church services. That means I was on the prayer line three separate times. That means that I was ministered by Prophet Joshua more than one time for sure. Um, and he, I'm telling you, when I say that he he's the most influential figure in my life, that I, that is, I mean, that is a truth from my heart because he made me see the Bible in, in a completely different way. Uh, in, in the sense that I came to understand, you know, uh, one thing is to read the Bible, but one thing is, uh, is another thing to understand it and apply it to your life. And uh, I want to share really quick three things that I learned from Mr. That changed my life. Like since then, my life has not been the same. It's just been going upward. And uh, so one of the things that I learned, it's actually in, in this booklet. Um, it's called Do Not Mind the Devil. And I've got I've got like several quite a few resources from from when I was there some booklets DVDs books and whatnot <clears throat> but the the first teaching that that I learned <clears throat> that changed my life was when he said that that meditation in God's word is a visit with God that is a visit with him see so when I came to think about that more and more and understand wait so meditating on God's word is a visit with God. So then I would ask myself, do you want to visit God? Then meditate on his word. So once I started doing that, I started to feel different. My anxiety started to leave me. Actually, when I started to apply that in my life, right? The second thing he, he, he taught me was that um, you are made spiritual by living in the word of God and the word of God living in you. See? That's something that I, I, I just didn't get before. I just didn't get before. Um, and and uh, the third one here, hang on. Like he taught, for example, if you want to be victorious in your confrontation with Satan, begin to believe in and stand upon God's word. It says, uh, we are made spiritual by living in the word of God and the word living in us, he says, this means that it is not only committing the word to memory, which is valuable, but also letting the word become an integral part of our being by meditation. It says it right here. So let me see if I can show you that. So once I learned that, it helped me see the word of God, the Bible in a different way, because I never saw it like that before. Like we are actually made spiritual by living in the word and the word living in us and letting it become an integral part of our being by meditating on it. I've read, and I mind you, I've read Joshua chapter one, verse eight, where it says, when, when, when God says, you know, you shall meditate on the law of the Lord day and night and you will make your way prosperous. You would have good success. I've read that before. You know, I've read Psalm chapter one, where it says, blessed is a man who does not delight in the, I mean, who, who does not, be in the counsel of the ungodly. And then it goes on to say, but he meditates on the law of the Lord day and night. He is like a, a tree, you know, uh, that is planted by streams of water and they'll continually give fruit. His leaves will remain green. So meditating on the law of the Lord. <clears throat> so I've read that, but I guess I didn't get to that understanding. Like this is, this is it. You see, you know, once I, I, I caught on to these teachings, and of course, his, his ministry, his prayers, the mass prayers and things of that, that nature, that it really did help me. I received deliverance um, through these things. And, and more importantly, by doing what he taught, which is meditating on the word of God, um, it made a difference in my life because I started to do it, meditating. And it's something that I've never, I've never done before, meditating on God's word. That is the core thing that Prophet B. Joshua taught. Like, no matter what book you see, he always talks about the importance of God's word, spending time in God's word. And that changed my life. You know, uh, while I was at the Synagogue Church of All, All Nations, I had the honor also of being uh, in classes where I learned from that time, Wiseman Christopher, Wiseman Danny, Wiseman Orsin, and others there. And that, that message was consistent. You saw it over and over, the, the word of God, the spending time in the word of God meditating on the word of God, you know, the word of God being on the lips of believers, 
that you believe in your heart. You know, talk, talk, talking about faith is of man's heart. I didn't understand that before. You know, I've never, I never, I never understood that before. That faith is of man's heart. Heart me, man's spirit, man's spirit. If you don't take hold of your heart, take control of your heart, yourself. Your past will take hold of your heart. So. The, the teachings of Prophet Joshua absolutely changed my life. And, you know, to add on to the testimony, remember I was jobless. We didn't, we didn't have much to make ends meet. But while I was at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, I actually received a, a job offer while being over there. And the offer was getting paid the most I've ever gotten paid at that time. And since then, you know, my income has more, more than doubled. And... I want to say thank you because to the prophet to Tib Joshua, to you know, Evan, Evan and Joshua and all those involved in, in the ministry, um, you know, you guys did a tremendous have done a tremendous work, will continue, I believe you guys will continue to carry on the legacy that he has left, continue to do the, the work of changing lives, changing nations, uh, and, and, and to continue with the with the idea that this is, is not a barrier because the world can the world con continues to need the teaching, <clears throat> excuse me, about the importance of the Word of God, about the importance of, of having that relationship. You know, Prophet Joshua taught that it is not the work that you do that makes you a Christian, but the atmosphere produced by that relationship. So it's, it's all about, I'm always about relationship, relationship. And it has changed my life for the better because applying. The, these biblical principles, which is what he taught, is, you know, it has changed my life to spend time in God's word, to meditate on it, right? Because it has made my way prosperous. I have received good success. So a special thank you, you know, I, he's with the Lord now, but I believe that, you know, uh, my thank you will get to him. I believe my thank you will get to the um, to, to his to his wife Evan and Joshua and to those involved in the ministry. I want to say thank you. Here I am representing with the shirt that I received over there, and it says, uh, "My heart is heaven." You know, he, everything he taught had to do with the heart. The heart. He says, "The heart is spirit." You you are first spirit man. You know, and and what I loved, and my my probably my favorite thing that that he has said is that read the Bible. Read God's word. He says, read it. It is food for your soul. Read it. It has converting power. Read it. It has transforming power. You know, read it. Like, that teaching is absolutely amazing. And uh, it's what I lacked in my life. And, and Prophet T.B. Joshua was the instrument that God used to make that change in my life. Since then, my life hasn't ever been the same. You know, because now I understand that God is my hiding place. That, that God is my refuge. He's my shield, my fortress. So now I get to spend time in God's word and, and believe that to be true. So I want to say thank you again from, from the core of my heart. Prophet T.P. Joshua has been the, the, the number one most influential figure in my life. I will, I will take his teachings, um, everything I've learned from him, and I will continue to apply it. And I believe that God used him to, to change my life for the better. You know, I will, I will be able to see the purposes that God has for my life. I will see it come to pass and I will be able to live uh, on that journey that God has for me. And, and it's going to be due to the fact that, um, that I'm able to carry that out because of what I've learned from the ministry of Prophet T. Joshua. So um, he's, he's been the most influential figure. I want to, again, extend my thank you for his ministry. The ministry that Emmanuel TV will continue to carry on. The ministry that the Synagogue Church of All Nations will continue to carry on because it's needed it's vitally important still and uh thank you again blessings to you all and remember distance is not a barrier i want to leave you with uh one last thing that, that from one of his booklets uh to close out this video and, and it's from the it's actually from this book his booklet it says uh are you prepared to meet him right are you prepared to meet god and it says this, this is what I want to close out this video with. And it says that, take a look. This world is not our own. We are just passing through. 
So with that being said, stay blessed, continue to be connected to Emmanuel TV, and continue to support those he has trained. You know, Christopher Orji, Daniel, you know, John Chi, Harry. Continue to support them all because they, they have been trained by Prophet TV Joshua. He has marked their lives. Uh, you know, they were taught there too. And at the end of the day, it's all God's kingdom. We are working together as a, as a family of God. With that being said, thank you. My name is Ali Perez, and I hope you stay blessed. Until next time.